2019 International Builder Show. Let me rewind time for you if I can. When I came last year in 2018, a little booth in the corner that I happened to walk by was called Aero Barrier. I kind of did that record scratch. Wait a minute, what is this? I was absolutely blown away. Aero Barrier technology, I think, is gonna absolutely revolutionize American homes, or North American homes for that matter. And I happen to have one of my old buddies, Gord Cook here. Now, Gord, I've learned a ton from you over the years uh, about building science. And you happen to be the Canadian guy on Aero Barrier as well, right? You're doing home performance contracting. Exactly. What's your experience been with Aero Barrier? Well, that's exactly the experience. It was a game changer, revolutionary. When I first saw it, saw it about a year and a half ago, just before IBS 2018, and around the time you were seeing it. it was around the time I was working a deal with with the folks at Airbear because I said we got to bring this to Canada you know we already build pretty tight houses in Canada yep. but with a lot of stress a lot of on-site angst and Airbear just takes away that angst it's really pretty fascinating you know we started we've done about 80 houses so far mm -hmm. some of them have been in rescue mode like a builder who really shouldn't be building houses. <laughs> I and, have no idea what you're talking and about and doing some tough stuff but frankly to be able to take their houses from five air changes to under two and a half in wow. about 90 minutes it's really pretty phenomenal. What's more exciting though, as we start talking about net zero buildings or yeah. zero energy in yeah. your context, you know, we have 25, 30 builders who know they would need to be under about one air change. Yep. And we're able to do that for them, basically stress-free. So it's this idea that you, you do the good job you do, get yep. it to drywall phase, we'll take it from there. That's so awesome. Even down to passive house, can you imagine? I can, it's been done on my house. Exactly. We did an air barrier video, I'll put a link in the description on a house that I built, that I built relatively tightly. We got a one ACH 50 on the pretest. The air bearer guys took it down to 0.3, 0.3. ACH 50. Isn't that so cool? And that's that's the that's exactly right. I hadn't heard that said before. The stress gets taken out. Yes. Because when I get a blower door, whether it's code mandated or not, and more and more for American builders, we're getting more guys that have to do a blower door test. There's a lot of stress. How am I going to get there? I, yeah, I always tell the stories. I've been doing blower tests for 30 years. I have builders that have been doing those tests for 30 years. They do great houses, and yet every time I come with a blower door, they're stressed out. Am I Absolutely. Gonna pass? And now we can go to them and say, it's really cool, the airbag technology. You actually watch it real time, bringing that measure down. And we just say to builders, where do you want to turn it off? One of our single biggest problems, they don't want it to turn it off. They just want to keep it going lower and lower down to that 0 0.6, 0 0.3. So Which you can do, it just costs more, right? Exactly, it's just, a, it's just an element of time. So I'm like you, I think it is revolutionary, game-changing technology. I, I just think it's one of the most important technologies we've seen in the industry in a long time. This is absolutely the best thing at IBS as far as I'm concerned. And builders, if you don't know about it, you better learn because you're gonna see it in your marketplace and it makes a huge difference. Hey, let's close this out real quick by answering a question that I get in the comments all the time. And frankly, you've been talking about this for 20 years. Don't houses need to breathe? Shouldn't we build a leakier house, Gord? What's your answer to that question? Well, you know I've been saying that a long time too. And it's really this, I always ask it this way, exactly how many holes would you like your customers to have in their walls or attics? And of course they want zero holes, but they want their houses to be ventilated. Mm -hmm. And we have ventilation systems in houses, they're called windows. Yep. So you make your envelope really airtight. Now you control your fresh air with windows or as you know by code, mechanical ventilation systems. That's right. It's been code since 1995, that you need to put a mechanical system in all houses anyway. So now you can go ahead and paint the envelope as, as tight as you want, and now you know you've got ventilation, either through windows or through continuous mechanical ventilation, like ERVs or HRVs. There's no downside to houses being tight, because after all, we don't want noise, we don't want bugs, we don't want uh, uh, odors coming from outside, and more importantly, we don't want to lose the energy. Oh, such a good answer, Gord. Love that. I wish I could spit that out at a moment's <laughs> notice when people ask me that question. Gord, people that are interested in the error barrier, how can they find out more about this? Well, you're right. They should be interested. You know, as you can imagine with the web these days, it's pretty easy. Go to airbarrier.net to find it in the United States. In Canada, you know, find us at airbarrier.ca. I'm very pleased to help with the introduction of the product to Canada. Frankly, it's going really quickly. We expect to do over 1,000 houses ourselves this year wow. in Canada. Wow, from 80 last year to 1,000 this year. Exactly. How about that, Gord? It, it's very cool. And when I was here last year, they were just setting it up. They've got 50 dealers in place all over the U.S. already, so they're in a bunch of markets already. I know Sean, the Austin dealer, he's a great guy. We already did my house this year. I'm gonna be doing more. So look these guys up in the web. I'll put a link for both of those in the description. From IBS 2019, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.
Aero Barrier is a revolutionary way to air seal a home. So if you, if you think about a home, if you think about the way a home is framed, windows, doors, there are lots of little places that air leaks out of our homes. What Aero Barrier basically does is where once there was a leak, the Aero Barrier product seals those leaks uh, as, as small as a hair, um, as large as five eighths of an inch. So all the things that you wouldn't normally seal through other processes, Aero Barrier is kind of a finished coat that plugs all those little gaps. In terms of the way it's applied, um, it's a pretty cool self-contained system. It's a trailer that we own. We back the trailer right up to the house and deploy all the equipment. And really it's three main components. There's a series of spray emitters uh, that are placed throughout the home to disperse the product evenly. There's a compressor and a generator that generate both power and air to deliver the system. And then there's a, a computer and a pump that we set up in the garage. It's all computer monitor, computer controlled that disperses the aero barrier product uh, in, in a ratio with air to atomize that product in the home. So what we do is uh, set up all of our equipment. Um, we'll put all the sprayers throughout the home we will uh, uh, seal up any big doors where we haven't installed those doors yet, and we'll put some film over the windows. We'll, we'll basically uh, plastic off or film off anything we don't want to seal. Uh, because believe me, if you don't, Aero Barrier will seal it. Uh, it's just kind of the way it works. Then we'll start setting up the system, meaning we'll run air through it, we'll run water through it, clean the system out, uh, and the computer basically controls the whole process. Uh, the whole system will heat the home, it will humidify the home with the dispersion of the aero barrier product, and then it will um, increase the pressure on the home, causing it to leak. And then anywhere it's leaking, that product leaks out with the air that we're blowing out. And as soon as it transitions from that hot, humid climate inside the home to a different, so to colder or to drier, that's what causes it to change phase. So it changes from being an atomized product in the air to a, a caulking-like product that will collect on the studs, will collect on the, on the siding, you know, wherever it is that that leak is occurring, it'll start to form on the edges and then seal on itself until it seals the leak up. So when we start the process, we see a very dramatic drop in the leakage in the home within about the first half hour of application. And as the home begins to become tighter or become more sealed, there's less air moving, there's less air leaking out through these smaller and smaller leaks. And the system kind of slows down a little bit. So typically on a Mandalay home, where we're aiming for a 0.3 ACH50 or 0.3 air changes per hour, which is probably about 5,000% tighter than a code built home, uh, that process will take us about two and a half to three hours. And we think it's very, you know, we think it's a very worthwhile pursuit. Again, the tighter the home is, the better we control the heating, cooling loads, we control the comfort, we control the health of the home. So uh, for us, an extremely tight home with the, the addition of Aero Barrier is a really great product, really great process for us, and allows us to, to, to consistently deliver really high quality Mandalay homes. You know, it's not often that I come across a product that I would put into the category of revolutionary. But on today's build show, I've got a product that I think is absolutely going to change the way houses are built in America when it comes to efficiency, indoor air quality, health, and comfort. On the Build Show today, we're going to be talking about a revolutionary product. It's actually a process that I think is dramatically going to change the way houses are built in America. We're going to be talking specifically about Aero Barrier. I saw these guys at the International Builder Show, and I wanted to do a first house with them. And in fact, this is the first house that's ever been air sealed in Texas with the Aero Barrier system. But before I get into all the specifics on how it was done on this house, let me tell you why air sealing is so important. I get tons of comments about houses being built too tight. Air sealing is critical to me as a builder. Here's why. There's four control layers every house needs to control. Number one, water. If water gets in, forget about the rest of what we did as a builder. We're going to get a lawsuit. <laughs> we got to fix it. It's a huge deal for us. So we have to waterproof. Number two, air. When air leaks in, all kinds of bad things come with it, and we're going to have a really hard time 
delivering a healthy house and a comfortable house to our clients if air can leak in uncontrollably. Number three, we need to control vapor flows, especially important for those northern builders up there because it depends on where that um, vapor barrier needs to be on the wall depending on the time of year, so it's a little bit trickier to control vapor. And lastly, houses need to control thermal. That's the insulation in the walls. That's the heat flow. Now, that order of all four of those is super important. You're never going to get a call at 2 a.m. from a client saying that your house is leaking air, but you're sure going to get a call if your house is leaking water. But right behind waterproofing is air sealing, and it's super important to me as a builder because as a remodeler, I've seen tons of houses that had a bunch of condensation on the back of the sheetrock, which led to moisture and mold and all kinds of bad things. And remember, when that air leaks in, it's going to bring with it pollen and all kinds of other nasties. And if air can leak in, typically those bugs can get in as well. So air sealing is super important. All right, so here's what we're doing here today, guys. We brought the Aero Barrier guys in all the way from Ohio to do the very first Texas house with their system. Now, this is a revolutionary system. I think it's incredible. Let me walk you through it start to finish. Now, first, we started with a pretty tight house over here. We actually did a pre-blower door test on this house, and we tested this at one ACH 50. But we wanted to be much tighter than that if we could, and here's where their system comes in. So what they do is they set up these nozzles around the house on a tripod stand, and you're going to see these multicolored cords kind of running throughout the house. Now these nozzles are going to spray an acrylic product, basically a, kind of like an aero, aero uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like an aerosol caulking into the air, a very, very fine caulking that's misted throughout the whole house. And then at the same time, they're going to pressurize the house with the blower door running in reverse, meaning that we're going to push air into the house. And then all those little cracks and crevices, all those small places that might leak air, that mist that's in the air of this basically the acrylic caulk that's floating is going to start accumulating. Now, I ran a really cool test. I've got a door over here set up where I've got an air conditioner coming through. So we've got a piece of plywood in there for temporary job site conditioning. And I cut three holes in that door. I, I ran a small hole, a 3 8 inch hole. I put a kerf cut on a saw, and then I ran a big 2 inch hole saw over there, and I put a screen door material over top of that. And as the test runs, as this aerosol accumulates, check out what's happening over here. The, the hole, the 3 8 inch hole, was totally glommed up, basically a big, almost like a snot ball of this product, totally sealed that hole off. And in fact, they tell me they can seal up to a half inch hole. The kerf cut, again, almost looked like I put a direct bead of caulking on that kerf cut. But I found this super interesting. This is that screen material. And look how it accumulated on the screen here. You can see the back of the screen right here where you can still see the screen. And that white material from Error Bear just totally clogged up all those holes. And on the front side, it looks like just a white circle, almost as if it had been caulked over. My understanding is this actually happened pretty quick, and that's basically what's happening throughout the entire house. Now, this is a pretty tight house to begin with, but of course, there's all kinds of tiny and minute cracks everywhere, and that's what leads to that loss or that gain. And remember, when that air leaks in, it's bringing with us all kinds of things that we don't want. So if we can't make a proper envelope for our houses, we can't truly condition and, and uh, serve our homeowners with healthy air on the inside. Now, of course, people are going to comment, this house is too tight. Don't forget, guys, this is brand new construction. I've got a fresh air system. It's going to run through my ventilating dehumidifier so I can drop the humidity out. It's going to run through a giant media filter so I can take out all the pollens and all the nasty stuff. And then I can bring in air on my terms when I want that air, not just when the air is blowing. And it's not going to be filtered through my stud bays where I might also get some particulate matter or some fiberglass or whatever it is in those stud bays. So this is an incredible process. Now again, we started with a very tight house and they ran this test for about 90 minutes start to finish. And at the end of the 90 minutes, guess what my score was? 0.3 ACH 50. Now if you're not a nerd out there, you don't know what that means, but let me, let me uh, translate that to code. Code requires us to have a tight envelope that in the north is a 3 ACH 50. So I'm actually a 1 before I started a 0.3. I'm 90% better than code if I'd built this house in the north. Down here in the south where I am, I only need to make a 5 ACH 50. And now I've got a 0.3. So this is a much, much tighter house than what even code requires. 
All right, now I want to bring on uh, Sean Harris. Sean is actually uh, one of the local guys that you've seen in my videos before. Uh, and Sean helps me on all kinds of different things in my houses. But, Sean, you ran uh, with the Arabera crew from Ohio today in doing this install. I know one of the questions we're going to get is, what does this cost? How would you answer that question? Well, Matt, uh, the price varies dramatically. We're not talking about hundreds of dollars. We're talking more thousands of dollars. Uh, but it really depends on the square footage, how much leakage there is. If you're starting at a 10 ACH 50, that would be one thing. You know, trying to get 10 down to 0.5 or lower, uh, it's going to be quite challenging and time consuming. Um, not everybody can build a 1 ACH 50 house, uh, you know, to, to start out with. So. so, Sean, as you've seen this now in person, um, and on my house, how would you see other builders maybe using this process? Uh, I think this is great. Uh, it's going to be able to have people rethink that the materials that they're using for air sealing, for example, you could go with uh, air barrier and then you wouldn't need to use spray foam as your air sealant and you can maybe go with a more cost effective insulation that way. Yeah, and you know, another thing that I was thinking too, Sean, is, uh, I don't know if you saw my Zip 2.0 videos, but we could use the Huber Zip system on the outside, which is already a pretty airtight system. Uh, and then we could hang either our air barrier or our drywall on the lid, depending on where you are in the uh, north versus the south. And then, prior to insulation, you could actually come in and spray this air barrier system. Would that work? That would be great, Matt. And what's really great about that is that you can then quantify the results of the, the building envelope before you start adding insulation and things that would cover those things up. You already know that you're passing at your final or what your leakage scores are. It's this repeatable process, a turnkey solution that can really uh, benefit everyone involved. Um, Sean, tell me, would this work on a remodel situation as well? Yes, sir, definitely. Remodels are great. Uh, there's a little more prep involved in remodels as far as covering the floors and things. In this particular case, we've got some plywood down that's under the subfloor, so we're not going to worry about needing to cover that. But, but in a remodel situation, more care will have to be taken. Yeah, because this aerosol caulk is going to land on those horizontal surfaces, you either need to have a rough surface like this that we're not worried about, it's going to be covered later, or you could cover that. But that's, honestly, I think that's something that's going to come into uh, its own on this product in the next couple years, is really we could see every house that gets resold come in and air barrier it. And a you know, 1970s, 1980s, 90s house that's pretty leaky, not super efficient, you can come in and tighten the heck out of that house and get guaranteed results just like we had today, right? Definitely, absolutely. That's impressive stuff. Sean, how can people find out more about Air Barrier? They can go to airbarrier.net and they can see if there's a dealer in their area. Uh, a lot of this is, is brand new to, to a lot of the country and so you'll have to see if there's one in your area that, that can help you out. Yeah, that's my understanding is that things are really just getting set up. In fact, that's why I was the first house in Texas. We don't really have all the infrastructure in place quite yet. But stay tuned for this. Be on the lookout for an air barrier dealer in your town. If you're a builder or a modeler, architect, this is something that's really going to be a game changer out there. Sean, thanks so much for coming out and spraying this house for me. I think the results are incredible. I am super psyched. And in fact, this is the tightest house I've ever built officially now uh, with that blower door score of 0.3 ACH 50. Guys, for more information on this process, check out that link in the description below. Otherwise, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show. Historically, energy savings derived from building envelope enhancements have been challenging to achieve, especially cost-effective enhancements. At the same time, standards for envelope tightness are escalating. New building science innovations are unveiling opportunities to meet and exceed these standards. Aerosol sealing, a proven technology for duct sealing, is being tested by the Center for Energy and Environment and UC Davis for energy saving opportunities on multifamily buildings. Aerosol sealing is a method for sealing small and hard to find building envelope leaks, like floor and wall joints, areas surrounding rough pipe openings, behind electrical housing, and within door headers. The sealing process requires special training and equipment, but requires little material and fits easily within standard construction schedules.
The sealant is applied by pressurizing a targeted building area. Then, spraying the sealant into the pressurized space. Designed to deposit in leaks and not on vertical surfaces, this already commercially available sealant is applied in 60 to 90 minutes and dries before equipment cleanup is complete. The sealant is self-guided to the edges of leaks building a seal, not by packing the gap, but by accumulating across the surface of leaks, up to 3 eighths of an inch wide. The ability of this new sealing method to increase building envelope tightness is impressive. Testing has shown reduced unit leakage of at least 66%. In new buildings, this reduces heating energy and cost demands by 4 to 18%, and in existing buildings, by 11 to 25%. For construction projects currently achieving a modest level of envelope tightness, this technology will make code compliance easier to achieve. For projects already exceeding code, aerosol sealing opens up cost-effective opportunities for going above and beyond code. In cold climate multifamily buildings, aerosol sealing is raising building tightness on average 75 to 85 percent above the newest energy code requirements. While the energy savings benefits are significant, multifamily building owners and contractors are equally interested in the co-benefits of reduced sound and odor transmission. CEE's field study of the technology is the first of its scale. It has contributed to AeroSeal's decision to commercialize the product and is informing the next generation of sealing equipment and set of procedures. With one technology, in both new construction and renovation applications, tenant privacy, indoor air quality, indoor temperature control, and energy efficiency are all being enhanced. Today on this old house, new technology will stop air infiltration on our entire project. Just got a head start here. Now, how long will it take to pressurize and seal it all up? About 90 minutes. And we put the finishing touch on a wall system that's seven layers deep. What happened to all this plumbing here? I've never seen anything like this before. There's already rot going on in that trunk. So what have you found up here? Well, a bit of a surprise. It's really the classic plumber's lament. Nice. See this main roof form? We're just going to pull that forward so it's even where this existing deck is. Definitely says mid-century modern. The money's in the detail. That is beautiful. Hi there, I'm Kevin O'Connor and welcome back to this old house here in Jamestown, Rhode Island. This is our bungalow project and we're taking it from about 1,000 square feet and doubling it to almost 2,000 square feet. Now you can see that the framing is complete and we're pretty far along with the rough plumbing and electrical. Now our homeowner is trying to get a home that is net zero and that means that the house will only consume as much energy as it can make. And to get there, we have got to get this house really airtight. Well, Richard has found a new technology that's going to help us do that. Air infiltration is a constant battle as we try to make a building energy efficient. And even with new construction, there are plenty of places where there are cracks, penetrations, places where air can leave the building, heat that you've paid for, and cold air can come in. Now, historically, we've always chased after it with caulking and weather stripping. But what if there was a way that we could seal every single crack in a building? It would be a game changer. Jordan Kreitz is going to show us this new technology. Now, it's not exactly new technology, is it? No, this has been around for a little while as far as the concept yeah. in the duct systems. Right, we've used it on duct systems yeah. to seal them up tight. Yeah, so we use uh, positive pressure basically to uh, put a sealant inside and identify those leaks and seal them with the positive pressure. Cool. So you got your blower door test. How's our existing house? This is new construction. Sure. We just completed our test and we're at 3.8 ACH 50. So ACH, that is air changes per hour. How much air would leak out of the building when you're pressurizing it, right? Mm -hmm. So what's 
what's the worst? Sure. I've seen them as high as in the 20s. Okay. So 3.87, what's that equivalent to? Uh, that'd be the equivalent to probably this window being open about five inches or so. Under pressure. Correct. That's a lot of heat leaving out. Exactly. Okay. All right. So what's the prep that you have to do? Sure. So the prep process will actually uh, tape off the windows so that the sealant doesn't actually seal the windows if they do, in fact, leak some. you got to seal every single opening, anything that's going to leave to outside. Yes. That, that will eventually be closed off. Correct. Okay. So, Richard, what we're going to do is use this hole where the deadbolt will eventually okay. be to simulate an air leak. And we're going to put this mesh here, uh, and we'll actually be able to see the technology seal see this. Seal right up. Okay. Correct. Okay. Good. We'll come back and check that when we're done. Here's the basic setup. Here's our blower door. Yeah, good. The fan right, right there, yeah. So this is what we're going to use to put the positive pressure yeah. in. Uh, here's the laptop that essentially is controlling the whole system and okay. telling everybody what to do. Yeah. This is a pump system inside of this box here that's it's going to spray to, the material in. Yeah, it's going to pull the material and pump it through the lines to okay. the spray nozzle. And then this is actually the material here. Oh, the there ceiling. it is, right yep. there. So it looks a little bit like paint in that condition. Very similar. All right. So you ready to go? Yeah. Just got to hit start here. Okay, great. Now, how long will it take to pressurize and seal it all up? About 90 minutes. Okay, cool. All right, so it's been about an hour. How'd we do? Uh, we are down to one ACH 50. Wow. So we started at what? 3.8, just under four. Mm -hmm. All right, so that means we can have smaller heating and cooling equipment, right? Exactly. We can right size the mechanicals to the home. Perfect. All right, let's go check the door how we did. Okay. All right, so it's almost completely blocked off. That is really cool. Pretty good. So you're going to pull that? Let's get this off of here. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. The bullseye. Sealed up perfect. Mm hmm. Great. So, is there any place where we can see it going through the outside? Hey, here you go. Right here under the stairs. Uh, so, look at that. Between the old boards, it found a crack, even though there's insulation outboard of it. That is amazing. Yeah. It finds everything. So, what about existing buildings? Do you have to just do new work? No, this can be used in retrofit applications as well. I uh, just need to uh, protect the finished horizontal surfaces in the space. And that's probably got as much possibilities as any. There's a lot of leaky houses out there. A lot. All right, so once we get it this tight, there's one more thing we got to think about, right? Getting fresh air into this building, mechanical ventilation. You got it. All right, that is really something. For more of This Old House, go to pbs.org slash thisoldhouse, where you can watch full episodes anytime. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This Old House Magazine, the companion to our television series, provides trusted information from our team of experts. You can use your credit card to subscribe for one year. That's six issues for $10. Just call 
This is Matt Reisinger and Jordan Smith with The Build Show. Coming to you from the International Builder Show. Now we're reporting on behalf of the General Light Construction and this is our nerdiest video. While we were out there, we were looking for building performance. What new products out there would help you build a tighter, more durable, better house? Let's go have a look. Hey, come to you from the Certainty booth, and as a building science geek, I really want to show you this. They've had this for years. This is an old product. This is Certainty membrane. This is basically an airtight layer you can put over your unfaced bats, which is going to stop the airflow. But here's the thing that's cool about it. It's vapor open when it needs to be, and it's vapor closed when it needs to be. So in other words, in the wintertime, when humidity is low in the house, we don't want vapor going this way into your walls and finding a condensing surface. No other time in the summertime, we want vapor to dry through it, and so it's more open. It's like six perms during that time. If you need more info on this topic, if you're confused by vapor barriers, check a link in the description below. I've got several papers I can send you to to give you more info. But suffice it to say, the quick version of this is in the south, you don't want a vapor barrier on the inside, and if you're in the north, you do need one. Okay, the next thing. This is actually what we're here for. Smart Bat by Certainty. Remember the old craft face bats? This is taking it to the next level. This is a craft facing sort of in that it's vapor open just like the smart membrane when it should be and vapor closed other times. But here's what's cool about it, class A fire rating and we can tape the seams so we can get this airtight just like the smart membrane. Good job Certainty, good product. Hey guys, coming to you from the Aero Barrier booth. This is tucked in the back corner of IBS. I'm sure a lot of people miss this. And this honestly is one of the coolest things, if not the coolest thing I've seen here. Let me see if I can explain this briefly for you. Basically, this is a system for tightening down the air tightness, the air exchanges on a house. And they can take any house, even a house under construction or a finished house, from a very leaky envelope to a very tight envelope. Let me show you how it works. They've got a blower door that's integrated with this computer system here and the computer's running everything. And then there's a sealant that comes in here that's blown out and is an airborne sealant. It's like a floating caulk, the size of a human hair, but sticky like a caulking. And what it's gonna do is we're gonna pressurize the house up to 100 pascals, meaning there's like a 40 mile an hour wind in the house. Very, very uh, high pressure on the house. And now the house is gonna be leaky. We're gonna force that air out of the house. And this airborne caulk is gonna stick on all those leaks. A hole up to a half inch can be sealed by this system. And on the remodel side or on older houses, they've taken houses from a 15 ACH50, super leaky, down to a one ACH50. A production builder in Arizona called Mandalay Homes is taking all their houses down to 0.2 ACH50. These are crazy low numbers. Where I am in Texas, I only have to take my houses by code down to a three ACH50. So a 0.2, that's passive house, that's crazy low. Let me see if I can show you a couple places of how this works. So look at this. If you were in the in the drywall stage, let's say, and they came in and sprayed this system, it takes about two hours. This is what it would look like. This pipe right here had a big hole there, and that caulk basically accumulates onto the holes to seal everything up. Now, I would actually prefer to do this in the frame stage. It's say if you had a conditioned, a sealed attic, or maybe you drywalled the lid, you could do it in this stage, and then you could even use fiberglass bats later. But look at this, it's gonna accumulate. This is a, a joint between the studs. There's a sheathing joint out there. Air was leaking through there and this accumulates on there and tightens down the air tightness of the house. Air tightness is a big deal for me, especially in the south, because when air leaks in, it's gonna bring with it mold spores and pollen from the outside, and even worse, moisture that's gonna deposit on my walls. And when I've remodeled, that's where I found a lot of mold in the back of sheetrock is from air leaks in. Guys, you go to their website, I'm sure it's aerobarrier.com or something like that. There'll be a link in the description below for that, but very impressive. This is definitely the best of IBS 2018. All right, Matt, another product I like was uh, over here at, at the bottom to seal your, uh, the connection between your zip board and your foundation. They used the liquid flashing, and that way you get a pretty good 
uh, air seal and also water seal between your concrete slab foundation and your zip board sheathing. Uh, this is a good way to do it. It can be kind of messy, but it, you can smear it on there and just make sure it's, it's thick enough and you don't have any holes. Uh, and that makes your connection work pretty well. Hey guys, coming to you from the GAF booth here at the International Builder Show. We're talking about what's new and interesting in roofing. And check this out. This is their Deco Tech system. This is different than a lot of installs that I've done on solar in the past. You know, one of the issues with solar that I have with shingle installs is what happens if a hailstorm hits and you've got to re-roof the house. Now you've got to pull the panels and deal with a bunch of rework to put those back together. But this is cool. This is installed, this Deco Tech system, like a big skylight, basically. So there's no shingles underneath this. This is installed prior to the shingle install. And then just like a skylight, there's a trim kit right here with uh, a Z flashing, pardon me, a uh, step flashing that's going to come up the side. They've got trim kits. There's airflow underneath this. A very cool system because now if we get a hailstorm or another problem, we just need to re-roof in 20 years. We can pull that roof off. We don't have to mess with the solar. Everything's there. Very cool system. Hey guys, coming to you from the Dow booth. You know, we just came from another booth where they had an incredible air sealing product, but it was expensive. Now on the other side of things, I've got an air sealing product, brand new, that I think is incredible and very inexpensive. Check this out, brand new from Dow. You know these guys from their great stuff. We've all used thousands of cans of this as a builder. This is brand new, this is a drywall gasket. This is not polyurethane based, this is latex based. And what we're doing here is we're forming a gasket on the framing so when you put your drywall up, that's what this is meant to mimic, this is actually gonna compress against the drywall and make an air seal all the way around. So this is gonna give you a much tighter house. And check this out, they've done their research. Look how durable and tough that is. Because when the drywaller shove that drywall up and push it up, it's not gonna come off, it's gonna stay compressed. Pretty impressive. The other cool thing about this is it's about 16 bucks a can, and they tell me an average house is gonna use a handful of cans, you know, maybe three, four cans to do a 3,000 square foot house. That's pretty impressive for that small amount of money to get a huge air sealing benefit, which is gonna save you big time on energy over the years. It's gonna prevent that air from leaking in. And remember when air leaks in, it's bringing with it mold and pollen spores. It's bringing moisture, which might deposit on the back of your sheetrock. So anything we can do to air seal our house is a big deal. Good job, Dow. I really enjoyed the Builder Show this year. I felt like there was a good focus on the building envelope and performance, and certainly we see a lot of products in air sealing. That was good stuff. Guys, for more information on building science in general, if you're not already, you should subscribe to the Journal of Light Construction weekly email. You can get to their newsletter at jlconline.com and your email there, and once a week you're going to get an email with all the good stuff, all the geeky behind-the-scenes stuff that you need to build a better house. Thanks for joining me. This is The Build Show at The Builder Show, reporting on behalf of the JLC.